One of my favorite openings for a computer game. Or just any game. Greetings, Gumshoe. Your Acme Babble Link translator is fully charged. Yes, it is. That was a test name that I made. We're deleting that. Welcome, everybody, to Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, the classic game where you have to track down the legendary criminal Carmen San Diego by talking to people and figuring out where her different crooks are in the world. And I know I've streamed this once before. I streamed this while waiting for Hollow Knight to download, but all my data was erased from then, and I only think I caught one person. So this is going to be coming an, an ongoing stream series from now on, where hopefully we can catch all of her crooks and then Carmen. So, I am Artie. We will start from the beginning. I will play with this name. Hey, Chief. Hello and welcome to Acme. I'm the Chief. But you can call me... Well... The Chief. We're in the business of tracking down thieves, and we're ultimately after one, Carmen San Diego. Every creep we've ever collared has been working for her. Now, when you report for duty, I assign you a case. You go to the scene of the crime and look for clues about where the crook took the loot. Then the chase begins. Any bystander is a potential witness who can point you in the right direction. When you finally catch up with the crook, you've got to bust him. But remember, you can't arrest a crook without a warrant. And you can't get a warrant if you don't know what the crook looks like. Now, I could tell you lots more, but the best way to learn a job is on the job. So, are you ready for your first case? Not if you're working for the Secret Service and trying to arrest, like, international criminals. But, yes, I want a new case. <laughs> There's panic in Panama. Someone stole the controls of the Panama Canal. There's no way to fill or drain the locks or even open and close the canal's giant gates. The whole canal is kaflooey until you get down there and grab that crook. I see. That happens pretty frequently. El vuelo 324 está a punto de salir para Panama. Oh, I love the flying music as well. All right, we're going to Panama. Okay, yeah, this definitely looks like a local from Panama. What's on your mind? Hey, where did the suspect go? He left behind a letter with the words, Meet me in Manila, on the envelope. All right, in a place where there's an area called Manila. What about the suspect? He told me that his friends call him Shorty. All right, so we know it's a man, and we know he is short. Cool, cool. Hey, lady. Do you need something? She definitely doesn't. <laughs> She's definitely not from America. Definitely from Panama. He is on his way to the coconut capital of the world. Well, that narrows it down. Strands of spun silver sprang from his scalp. You could just say he has gray hair. Thank you. Ooh. Sorry about the hole we poked in your hat. Luckily, it doesn't look like rain. <laughs> the, the, uh, ick janitors? Is that what it says? Or the 10K janitors. Okay, he's wearing a hat. Cool, we know a lot already. Ah, glad to meet you. Ha, <laughs> you definitely have a Panama accent. <laughs> he mentioned something about Manila, a capital city that was Another one about Manila. in the 1940s. All right, what about him? He probably wins at limbo without having to bend over. I know he's short. Thanks, lady. May I help you? Where did he go? I found a farewell from him penned in Filipino. Okay, I think we can figure it out then. Stray hairs swept across his face like wisps of smoke. He got gray hair. He's old and he's short. That's what people yes. are telling me. Yes. 
There may be a grain of truth to the rumor that he's hiding out in the rice terraces of Benawe. Uh huh. His hair color indicated he was no longer young. Nobody knows how fat he is. They're all they're all too polite to tell me how fat he is. All right. Well, that's all the clues we're going to get for where he goes. So it's a place in co with coconuts, rice terraces, and Manila. So let's see. It's not India. It's not Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I don't think it would be South Korea. Don't think it's Peru. Uh, it's Tanzania. Where is Tanzania? Could be Tanzania. I don't think it's the Philippines. Let's try Tanzania. I am very bad at geography and history, by the way, folks, so this will be still a struggle for me. Oh, I, I love that piece of classical music. Nope, that was the wrong place. Okay, then we're going to the Philippines. <laughs> Watch it be like, oh, it's Peru. Okay, nope, this is the right area. You know you went to the right place if you get a skit of either these guys, or a cat, or a robot. Look, those bumbling janitors. They must have been cleaning up after your crook. Good tracking. Yeah, I definitely didn't fly to the wrong continent. <laughs> hello, lady. Well, hello. Where'd he go? He's drinking tea steeped in the Himalayas in a hideout west of Darjeeling. Okay, so probably Nepal. If he were a car, he'd be a lowrider. Everyone's telling me he's short, but... Okay, yeah, that's... It's almost certainly going to be Nepal, right? Yeah, okay, so he's in Nepal. I don't need to ask them any more about that. Today's special baby bear souffle. Not too heavy, not too light for those who like it weight just right. There we go. He is average weight. Here's the warrant. And now we can just focus on getting to the right place. You just murdered that guy. If you want to learn more about a location, try calling up one of the Acme Good Guides, who can give you a tour. If you do, you can call back that good guide later to help check over your warrant. But I'm good without it. You lady were literally in the Philippines. Hello. Can I be of service? Oh no, you have a different voice. Someone told me that they saw him romping on La Rampa in the heart of New Havana. Okay, in a Spanish-speaking place. What are our options? Bolivia and Cuba. Don't know which one those would be. What's going on? I hear he flew off with a group of ornithologists in search of the red, white, and blue Cuban trogon. Okay, it's Cuba, because they use the word Cuban. I know that they only have a set amount of, like, character sprites and voice actors, so, like, you're gonna see repeats. Thank you. All right, thank you, kitty. Hey, bro. Do you need some help? He said he knew of an art gallery in the hamlet of Helsinger, where he could find dramatic prints. I have no idea where that is. Why, hello. Hey, bro. Authorities say he's causing a scandal in a certain Scandinavian country. Okay, maybe we can figure it out from here. Uh, probably, uh, out of all of these, it's Russia, right? I think Russia's the only one that would count qualifies in Scandinavian country. Like, maybe Denmark? Is Denmark a Scandinavian country? I don't know what's qualified as. Qualifies as. It's in the area, though. Oh, the thief is here. Alright. Hey, Chief. I've got big news. The crook and Carmen are about to rendezvous, and you need to make the bust before that happens. Act fast! Alright, so he's short, middleweight, gray hair, and a hat. Almost certainly our guy, but yep, alright. Hey, bro. Good day to you! You're under arrest. <laughs> Get him, Grandma! 
the wordly blab, Jonah Fark captured. <laughs> wow. You got me pegged, but you'll never get a leg up on Carmen San Diego. Ha <laughs> ha! I love the bad pun names of all of the uh, <laughs> criminals. Hey, you're a newsmaker and a crime breaker. Thank you. Good work. You stopped that shark, Jonah Fark. His crime career's up in smoke, thanks to you. We went through hours of questioning with no luck. But just before the cell door slammed shut, we heard the crook shout, I'll steal the planet's treasures till there's nothing precious left. Hmm. Code, perhaps. I'm faxing it to you for further reference. Back when people actually used fax machines. But you've got other fish to fry. And there's a new case pending. Do you want to take it? Well, technically, we're out of time, but also because 15 minutes were spent just trying to get the emulator working, we can do another case. Yes, please, Chief. Gumshoe, it's time to track trouble in Thailand, the country that used to be called Siam. Some crook has nabbed the king's very own pet Siamese cat. No! Thailand is fretting till you find its finest feline, my friend. You're Bangkok bound to bust a burglar. Yes, I will find the kitty. This is far more important than getting the Panama Canal and the controls back. Off to Thailand. I'm getting those frequent flyer miles. All right. Hey, lady. What's up? Hey there. That is not an American accent you or anything. You told a silly joke. Where do South American cowboys sit? A gaucho cow. Somewhere in South America. Could the frames on his eyes have been a disguise? All right. So he's a man, and he's wearing glasses. Dry cleaning services. Wider pants waistline by size 6 inches. All right. He fat. Hey, dude. Hello. Hello. As he walked by, I said, Buenos dias. And he replied, Buenos Aires. Isn't that odd? He looks like he's carrying the weight of the world. <laughs> And it's not on his shoulder. <laughs> Savage! Now people are talking about how fat they are. What? He seemed to have an angle on the Strait of Magellan. He's gravitationally enhanced. And literally, everyone's just like, he's fat! He's so Today, fat! If he ends up raising cattle on the plains with a group of gauchos, well, that's pompous and circumstance. He used a handkerchief to clean his lenses. Okay, he's fat, he has glasses. I know this. Oh, hey, Dapper Dan! Are you looking for help? <laughs> What's up, Mobius? He said that if he counted all the sheep on the pampas, he would fall asleep. He had a very brainy look. All I know is that he's way. fat and has glasses. That's it. <laughs> Alright, so it's somewhere in South America. Unfortunately, there's a lot of options. The top four are all in South America. Well, actually, Cuba, I think, is technically in North America, so... We can rule out Cuba, so it could be Guatemala, Chile, or Argentina. Hmm. Group of Gauchos, Buenos Aires. I should know where Buenos Aires is. Out of these four options, I'm most inclined to say that it's Argentina. Yes, it's Argentina! You only get the translations if it's the right place. Excellent. Love the March of the Valkyries. Hey, dudes. It could be Peter Griffin, but he'll probably have a bad pun name. See those klutzy guys with brooms? They're Viles janitors cleaning up after a thief. You must be on track. Yes, you do catch Carmen at the end of it. Ooh, I love Hello this music. There. Hello. He said he was going to the Grand Canyon. But his story had a big hole in it. Well, gee, I know exactly where that is. Oh, wait, no. Tell me about Hello. the suspect. He's altitudinally challenged. Oh, he's short. That's new. Taylor receipt taken in scene by six inches. A short job for a short customer. Hey, hey, hey. No, no. Hey, dude. Hey, yo. Why, hello. Oh, yeah, the chief. The chief is great. When it comes to character and height, he... Okay, I know he's short. Tell me what his hair color was, please. Yes, what is... 
He looks like he dyed his hair with a bottle of ketchup. Thank you. He's a redhead. Oh, short, fat glasses redhead. All right, we're going to the United States. I could see them actually making that joke as well. <laughs> Good afternoon. Flight 707 is now arriving in the United States. You know it. <laughs> oh yeah, that American Greetings. music. Last I heard, he was steaming east across the South China Sea. Is that literally just China? Oh no, it, well it's not China itself, but it's somewhere south of China, so... Probably the Philippines, that's the only one that it, like, it could be. Yeah, he's talking about the chief! That's impossible. Oh, hello lady. What's on your mind? I bet he gets sore toes in the Sertau when he hikes to the futuristic capital of Brasilia. Uh, is that just Brazil? Yeah, wow, these are easy hints. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're doing great. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a 20 hour flight. You are not the cat I'm looking for. The crook is here to meet Carmen and pass her the stolen goods. You've got to make the arrest before that happens. Got it? Good. Go! Oh, wow. Is that the famous statue of Jesus? Okay, that literally might be him right there, but... Yep, that's him. May I help you? Yeah, you can help me by, uh, GETTING DOWN ON THE GROUND! <laughs> Savage! MALFUNCTION SENT UP THE RIVER! <laughs> you may have short-circuited my operation, but I'm an adaptor. Whoa, I love the puns! <laughs> Great work! You've hit the headline! Yeah, I have. You caught that malfeasant malfunction. Now his only function is pressing sheets in the prison laundry. You made the arrest, you made the papers, and you've made investigators. Well, thank you. You're promoted, and I salute you. Thanks, Chief. There's another case waiting, investigator. Will you take it? You know what? I will. These cases are short. Let's do it. Japan is fuming. Because someone stole the snow from atop Mount Fuji. All of it? Tokyo's majestic mountain has been sacred to the Japanese for a long, long time. Fiddling with Fuji means hitting at the heart of their culture. Only a vulture would swoop so low. Your job? Jet to Japan and set a vulture trap. Oh, like, well, the snow, if the snow's melted already, there's not much I could do to get it back. But yeah, I can find the guy who started the fire on top of Mount Fuji. Sure thing. No problem. <laughs> At least it was before they stole the snow. Hey, lady. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> now that is a Japanese accent if I've ever heard one. He's gathering seed money to open a doll stand in the shadow of the Himalayas. Is that literally Nepal again? He seemed to look down upon everyone around him. He's a tall man. Did I just Hello arrest you? There. I literally just arrested you. You just dyed your hair. Hey, uh, tell me about the suspect. He loves his carroty curls. So he's a redhead. Why, hello. His hair looks like it was shampooed with salsa. The guy, uh, the other guy just told me that. Also, great Japanese accent. Do you need assistance? He's not well read, but his hair is. Everyone's like, oh, he had red hair. Now they tell me about it. What can I do for you? In my opinion, he could have been a basketball player. 
Oh, so he was black? I mean, wait, what? And he opened Saturday Night. Redheads get it for free. What? That's not how theater works. Are you kidding? <laughs> Imagine if that was actually true. Like, <laughs> redheads get in for free to see Annie. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it's just Nepal again, right? Nepal's the only country in the Him Himalayas. Boo! <laughs> I don't look that ugly, do I? Your reconnaissance photos were picture perfect. Keep them coming. Oh, hey! He's wearing a camera. What can I help you with? He showed me a fascinating flag. Two spears and a shield on a tricolored field. That is no flag that I'm familiar with. I didn't stay around him long because I'm camera shy. You literally have a camera yourself. What do you need? He packed up his helmet, so I suppose he's on safari. Okay, it's probably an African He'd country. say he was skinny, but only in a room full of round people. Okay, so he was average weight. Boom! Warrant. Okay, what countries in Africa do we have? We got Kenya, and that is it. It's Kenya. I don't know of anyone who goes on a safari to New Zealand. But what do I know? Didn't we leave you guys back in Nepal? They were on the same flight as me. Hello, stranger. Hello. Authorities believe he's polishing off the diamond market in Yaffa. Okay, I have no idea where that is. What crimes didn't Carmen commit? That's the real question. Oh hi. He claimed he could make a lot of bread in Netanya, at least until Passover. Oh, is that Israel? That's Israel. That's where they celebrate Passover. I don't think they get along very well. Can I be of assistance? Yeah, where did it go? He said he was off to follow the route of Alexander's army through the western part of the Persian Empire. Okay, wait. That's not Greece, is it? No, it's not Greece. Um... The western part, so it could... That would have to be Turkey. Wow, we're doing great at this. I'm surprised my history and geography is this good. Okay, so he's tall, average weight, got a camera, and he's a redhead. Oh my gosh! It's my art teacher! No! This guy literally looks like my art teacher. I guess my art teacher doesn't have red hair, but... No. No, not him! Do you need information? Please don't let it be true. I'm sorry, Mr. West, you're under arrest! <laughs> Top 10 anime betrayals. Harry back! Oh, never mind. That, that's not my art teacher. <laughs> I've been collared! I knew I stuck my neck out too far. <laughs> Wake up, sheeple! <laughs> the news is out. Congratulations! You cracked the case! Yeah. Thanks for busting Harry back. Right about now, he's being shaved by the prison barber. Wow. The problem is, there's already been another major burglary. Can you well, lend your expertise to another case? Uh, no. I actually have to go back to my real job, Chief. Sorry. <laughs> but that was fun. I, I enjoy playing Carmen Sandiego. I, I wouldn't want to do, like, a whole hour and a half stream of it, but I think in small bursts it's nice and fun. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. This was definitely a very enjoyable stream, and I'm glad I can get back into these old classic PC games. We'll be continuing Backyard Baseball and Carmen Sandiego on Wednesday. And then Saturday, well, I still have to figure out what we're doing Saturday, but I hope you guys tune in for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your night, and God bless.